Let me take a sip of my beer real quick. Just found this article on thestreet.com titled, How GameStop Electronic Arts Activision Are Coping with Lower Video Game Sales by Tony Owusu. Sorry if I butchered your name, Tony. But um, here's what it boils down to. Certain game makers and retailers are suffering uh, this month compared to last year's calendar month for this time. And I don't know what the fuck they expected. Because look at this. Look at this. There is hardly shit there in the month of May and April. I mean, you got Stellaris on PC. It's on PC. It didn't sell very well anyway. Mostly because it's on PC. Battleborn didn't sell very well. Eh, right around 100,000 copies. 100,000 copies in the video game world is shit. And like, you got Epic Dumpster Bear. What What is this? Uh, Battleborn on the X-Bone. I mean, look at all this yellow and red you see sitting around here. Yeah, that, that's not the part I want to talk about. Later on in the article they get on about hardware and how hardware has suffered um, to millions upon millions of dollars compared to last year. Well, I mean, with the, the many rumors that have gone around and then finally uh, solid talk about the release of NVIDIA's 1000 series, uh, AMD's Polaris and Vega series, and then especially the, you know, the big time markets, uh, the PS4 Neo or PS4.5, whatever the hell it's going to be, and a revised Xbox, which is supposedly not going to have any um, uh, internal component upgrades, which is a mistake in this environment. Well, yeah, uh, you drop that on everybody, and everybody says, whoa, 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 wait a second. I'm not going to buy what's out there now if everything else is going to drop, like, pretty damn soon. Well, yeah, what do you expect, hardware makers? If, if you're going to let rumor fly and then announce your new hardware months in advance, Everybody's gonna slow themselves down and then, you know, yeah, I'm gonna put the brakes on that roll and see if I can get something better for my money in a few months. And they're just silly. They should have expected this. Are you gonna drop all this? You should expect the consequences. And on the subject of Xbox, not keeping up with hardware improvements the way the PlayStation is. Um, people have gotten used to a one or two year turnaround on their cell phones. The, the, the device that they carry with them everywhere, play with the most, do the most things on. People constantly upgrade their most intimate devices. Uh, I know that the last consoles had an, you know, an inordinately long lifespan but that's not normal. And it will continue to be abnormal because everybody's used to upgrading. New iPad, new iPhone, new Samsung, new Note, whatever. There's something new all the time waiting around the corner. And uh, uh, big name hardware is, or I'm sorry, dedicated hardware is what is truly falling behind. As, as far as the consoles go, you know, anybody who was expecting to get five or six years out of their Xbox One or PlayStation 4, no, yeah, no. And you might say that's a problem, but think about it. Your Galaxy S7 cost you $600. A revised PS4 is going to cost you 400 Your dedicated gaming system 
is cheaper than the phone you so gladly spend your money on. This is, this is the new world of hardware. You should expect to upgrade as often as you can afford it or, you know, can't afford it and desire to do so. But, I mean, how many people are hanging on to three-year-old phones and don't really mind? Well, you're going to have to get used to if you want to hold on to a five-year-old console. You're going to be behind.